Miss Hangouts online. It's live. It's live. It's on air. Hi. Radiator, what is this? Hey, everybody, and welcome to our weekly show and tell. This is your half an hour to shine, show off your maker projects, your 3D printing, your LEDs, your Arduinos, your Raspberry Pis, whatever it is that you're building, crafting, making, hacking at home, we'd love to see it. So please join this Hangout. We have it every Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. to about 8.50, 8.55, uh, 7.55 p.m. And uh, this is just a welcome for everybody. Come multiple times. You'll even get a free sticker. Okay. We're going to start off with um, some Adafruit team members, Noah and Pedro. It's Tony Nicola and then Noah and Pedro. Yeah. Afterwards, we'll call on you all. Uh, take three to five minutes to show off your project so that we can get out of here at 7.50, 7.55. All right, Tony. Welcome back from Maker Fair. Hey, yeah, right. So that's what I just want to talk about real quick. So I went to Maker Fair over the weekend in the Bay Area. A uh, really cool experience. I'd never been to the Bay Area Maker Fair before, uh, and I really loved it. So it was really awesome. And if you want to see what it was like, check out the YouTube channel. I did three videos, like one for each day. And you kind of see I went a little experimental with them. The first few videos are more traditional, just showing some neat projects. And then the last one is a real trip. Put on headphones or earbuds and listen to it. So I took a Zoom audio recorder and just walked around for 20 minutes through the whole fairgrounds to capture the ambient sounds and with headphones on it sounds like you're there you can hear people whizzing by and con conversations and things and music and all that so really cool kind of thing but great experience uh, you know totally check it out if you can in the future for it so uh, that's really neat uh, and then the other real quick little thing that I just got I haven't had a chance to mess with it but I got one of these guys so this is the micro bit from the BBC so every fifth grader in the UK has one of these boards or will have one of these pretty soon so I've managed to get my hands on one of these and I'm curious to check it out it's a little bit similar to like our circuit playground board same idea like an easy board to teach people with but different in certain ways so this one has like Bluetooth low energy and stuff like that built into it so maybe I'll play more with that and, uh, and mess around with it okay and tonight on Ask an Engineer we're gonna be showing two of your Maker Fair videos so oh, cool thanks for doing this thanks Tony All nice, right. nice. Pink uh, uh, members only members jacket. Only jacket. Oh, of course, yeah, we got it. Members only jacket. Did you wear at Maker Fair? Oh, the pink one. The Sunday I went with this one. Okay, great. Pink yeah. or black? Is, nice. Those are our colors. All right, All right. next up. Hey, oh, baby. Yeah. Hello, how's it going? Hey guys, can you hear us okay? Hey, yeah, sound great. Cool. Alrighty. Yeah. So uh, today we wanted to share a project that we collaborated with. Um, Todd Trace. Mr. Todd Trace, he put together this project. I'm just trying to fiddle with the camera here and see if you can see my <laughs> overhead. There we go. So it's a little small, but this is a Raspberry Pi radio. So Todd put together a command line uh, radio for uh, NPR. Uh, so he wrote this in Node.js, and it's using the new amplifier that you have, uh, Lamar. It's the the Max 97357, I believe. Yes. It takes, uh, it's two breakouts in one, so it, it does uh, I2S, and it's an amplifier as well, so it powers this little speaker, and it's Raspberry Pi Zero, um, so it plays NPR radio stuff, it uses the NPR API, and the controls, it has like, uh, you know, your standard media player controls, like play, pause, but it's it's using capacitive touch, so it's using the MPR one two one capacity touch sensor, and this is a three D printed enclosure that we put together. And the buttons are using uh, conductive PLA filament uh, from from uh, protopasta, and the top is actually uh, CNC milled out of acrylic, so it's see through. So it's like a combination of three D printing and CNC milling. Uh, so this is actually tomorrow's project, and we'll have the, the files up available, and I think Todd's going to release the code on GitHub, perhaps? Mm -hmm. And yeah. that's pretty much the project. I'd love to demo it, but we're actually running our internet through our mobile phone, so I haven't been able to pipe it through the, the Raspberry Pi, but okay. it does have um, Wi-Fi. <laughs> it's just we also don't want, like, to, to think, like, that we're... Yeah. That we're uh, yeah, oh, yeah. So that's actually probably best, so... You can just put from and, National and, Public Radio. International and, radio. and NPR stands for No Pager Radio. No I'm you know I'm Pager Radio. <laughs> yeah. It's in case anyone's asking. Yes. Okay. So that's pretty much the project. Nice and simple. Big shout to Todd for putting that together and letting us make an enclosure for it. And we'll be yeah. showing those videos on tonight's show around 8:15 tonight. Awesome. Right. awesome. All right, guys. All right. Thanks so much. All right. Next up, Scott, unmute your mic and. Show us your goggle. Yeah, okay. Oh, and you got to ask the on a show and tell sticker. Yeah, yeah. okay. Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah. Okay, looking good. 
Awesome. Yeah, thanks for the sticker. Um, I was really on, the, the, on the show last night. I'm like the representative like quadcopter person, and I wanted to just go into just a smidge more detail about video. So uh, these are FPV, which means first-person view. It means you get video down from this camera in the front, and it goes down here. This is a on-screen display, so it'll give you like battery information and stuff on the video. And then that travels back to this, which is the video uh, transmitter. And then the video from the transmitter goes out to there. And then uh, usually the way that I fly is I use these goggles. And it looks really cool when you're sitting in a park <laughs> with them on. Um, so the receiver's in here. And then what you can see is basically like if you had a screen in front of you, um, you can't like move your head and have it move with you. It doesn't doesn't do that. It's yeah. basically like a portable TV. Well, that's uh, bad if like a bee like came by and you were like swatting it, and then you're like quadcopter crash. It's probably good that your head motion doesn't control it. Yeah, but it's kind of funny. Like sometimes you can get dogs in the park, and like if you have your goggles on and there's like a dog running around you, they can like lick your face. Yeah, <laughs> okay. that's super fun. Um, and then the other thing I wanted to show uh, was just a monitor. So you can also use a monitor in the field. Um, that's kind of helpful if you get like motion sick or something. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have too much of a problem with it. But the nice thing here also is like if you get into trouble, you can like look away and then fly it based on what you're seeing also. Yeah. Um, so that's all I had for today. That's okay, cool. you still get another show and tell sticker if you want one. But I did have one question. How does the video signal get? the battery and status? Does it overlay it and then pass the signal on, or like how does it now? Right, so uh, I can go into more detail that, about that later, but um, the flight controller talks to the on-screen display and then overlays it on the video pixels. OK. Yeah, there's like um, a, the Mac 756 or something. It's a chip yeah. video yeah. in, video out. And that's then you cool. can tell it, like, it's just like blocky aspect. Yeah, that's yep. cool. So, that's yeah, like, that's exactly what it is. You use VCR, and it would say, when you press play, it would say play. Yeah. Remember that? It's exactly. Right. Yep. Okay. All right. Thanks, Scott. Awesome, Scott. Thanks. All right. Next. Uh, that was your quadcopter minute. Steven, unmute your mic and show us your project. Oh, your mic's already unmuted. What do you got? We can't hear you. Can you hear me? Yep. Now we can. Oh, uh, cool. Uh, what's up? That drone is awesome. Uh, <laughs> that thing is so tight. Uh, so this is what I made. Uh, I've been working on it for a while. Whoa. You made a portal to uh, another world. <laughs> Uh, this is my favorite episode of Stargate. Uh, so this is like my infinity mirror. It's like going to sound right now. So it's like cloud that kind of does cool stuff like that. And um, I'm looking to let me turn the lights on. It's getting creepy. Um, the cool thing about it is uh, I made it so it can kind of like hang on a wall, and it has all this space back here um, oh, yeah. for like adding electronics and stuff and like Arduino. Uh, right now, I'm just like hooking the LEDs up to a uh, DMX decoder. Okay. Um, hooking it up to uh, just my computer and like using using the mic on that. But okay. Um, yeah. So that's basically what I've been making. Uh, I kind of patented this is this design and stuff. It can run by itself without a computer, uh, with like a switch. And then if it's off, it's just a mirror. Uh, so I thought right. cool. Multi-use. Uh, so yeah. All right. Yeah, All right. Well, the only thing this project is missing is an as seen on the show and tell sticker, which you can put on the back or the side or in. Yeah, we can throw it on. Yeah. So email right support here. at adafruit.com and we'll send you out one. Sweet. That's a nice mirror. Yeah, that's what really Did fun. you make right. the, the box too or did you recycle it? Um, yeah, I made the box out of like wood and sanded it and painted it. It um, looks really nice. Okay. Thanks. Cool. All right. Next up, Richard. Hello, Richard. I'm hey, your Mike and show us your project. Hey guys, so um, today I've uh, I know I've been away for a little while, but we just finished up with uh, one of the big projects we've been working on here at the Makerspace. So uh, first of all, at my desk I've got uh, a bunch of my LEDs that I've been putting together. Um, hopefully, just in time for Burning Man uh, for a bunch of people to to get working on projects for that. Uh, but the really big project that we've been working on here at this space has been uh, Puzzle Break Long Island. So um, all of our big stuff that we built um, got boxed up, and it's on its way to uh, Long Island right now. And then we're going to be following in about two weeks uh, to go install it. Um, and they're already talking about Puzzle Break Manhattan, so we'll probably have to build uh, a lot of this stuff 
uh, for that as well. And it is packed with uh, lots of Adafruit stuff. Um, so this one, the, the 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea, um, has only one really big part. This is one of the early puzzles they built before we got involved. Um, and so it has one big structure um, that uses a lot of Arduino stuff in it. Um, but the Midnight Carnival, this is the one that we actually designed and built all the products for, uh, for the one here in Seattle, and we remade that one um, for Long Island. Uh, this one is just packed with lots of really big pieces of furniture, and, uh, and even a bunch of the Adafruit learning guides kind of helped me build uh, a lot of the products uh, in that one. Uh, and then this one, again, is kind of, kind of more puzzle-based, not so much electronics. Um, so hopefully we'll have one in your guys' neighborhood really soon. Yeah, um, I'm these, you. these are popular with data for team members, so I'm looking forward to visiting our electronics and some of these too. <laughs> What's interesting yeah, so is the, oh, go ahead. Sorry. Uh, the next thing is um, so this is actually I, I, I love the project that Tony worked on with the uh, the kind of critter cam using the Raspberry Pi, and I have a couple of garden boxes in my garden. Um, and there's something that's been eating my spinach. Like I planted this brand new patch of spinach and <laughs> got back from vacation and it is like completely decimated. Um, so I set up one of those cams to try and capture uh, what it is that it's eating. Kind of hoping it's like a rodent or a squirrel because my plan is to attach this robot arm to the garden to just kind of swat it away whenever I detect it. Of course, this is how it begins. <laughs> yeah, my fiance points out that I could probably just put a lid over it but I say when I can put robots in there, you know, why do yeah. a lid? All right, it's like a rope. I, I hope it's a vegan engineer, and they like. No, he's just he's just engineer. swatting. No, he's just swatting it. He's not. He's not screaming. Yeah, I'm, I'm just. I'm not gonna hurt it. I'm just gonna gently no, no, push it you, out of the way. I hope the thing eating your spinach is a vegan engineer. Oh. <laughs> like, and then you have this robot. They're like, I'm going to fix this robot. And then yeah. Just, like, see this like wild <laughs> engineer chewing. Make it more I think, I think that was a plot of Secret of Nim, but I'm yeah. not sure. Okay. <laughs> All right. Thank you so much, Richard. And you can send a note to supportadafruit.com if you want a sticker for your soon-to-be mouse swatting robot or whatever else. OK. And last up, Charles. Hey, Charles, how's it going? Welcome back to Show & Tell. Nice badge. Now you are so it's yeah. It's lovely. What you got going on this week? Hello, world. I want to give an update. I forgot to mention last week, but I'm actually working collaboration with the Enable Less on a phone home project. So this is his huzzah. And FTI yeah, friend, and this is kind of what the update is on the hand. So we got wires running to the flight sensors, and it's going to be able to control an, another robotic hand. So I printed this one in TPU, flexible material. Oh wow! It's the flexi hand, but all in one one print piece. Hmm. And here we have the you know, servos all wired up. But I still have to work on some programming. So I figured this week I'd show mostly electrostatic. That's why I got the badge on. So. One second, let me hook up. I got the band to graph generator back here. This creates electrostatic. We're running to this similar. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> what is this like mad science yeah. lab? You actually have all the mad scientist gear, too. Yeah. Here, under here, we've got a Tesla coil. Wow. And it's powering you know, wireless energy that's lighting this light bulb. Oh. Cool. So, kit I put together. And finally, I got a negative ion generator with three printed parts. So this will create an electric electrostatic effect. And the positive is attached to the top of my hat here. And the negative the wire runs to the ground. Okay. So we'll ground it just by stepping on it there. And Create an electrostatic effect to when I turn it on. Attract objects. <laughs> <laughs> so I tell people about the show and tell them like, oh yeah, like just someone stopped by and they, you know, were able to move something with electricity, and they're like, no, nah, that can't be possible. Like this is actually happening right now. This is like the best science show ever. This is so cool. Like, yeah. Four nine volt batteries. You could create your, you know, yourself as an antenna. Yeah. Piece of paper. These are just uh, like chads, they call them, this hole punched paper, and you can kind of attract them. <laughs> <laughs> That's rad. Okay, so I got my electrostatic badge on, so that you're fine. <laughs> yeah. And that's. That's it. That's my show and tell. Wow. Outstanding. Okay, that was really good. That was great. All right. That was a, that was a 
magic show. Okay, well, I mean, name your price. I'll send you another Electrostack Badger show and tell sticker. Um, thanks so much, Charles. That was impressive. Okay. Yeah, that, is a, that is the correct badge yeah. to wear. Could network. All participants on the show and tell get as seen on the show and tell sticker. We're here every single week at 7 30 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you so much, Tony, Steven, Scott, Richard, John Pedro, and Charles. We'll see everyone on Ask an Engineer in a few minutes. And thank you for making this the most delightful 20 minutes or so in our week. That was awesome. Yeah. Thanks, everybody. Wow, you got, you got the best projects yeah. ever. Woo. Oh, I like the little hand is waving. Yay. Yeah, and then you got like the goggles. <laughs> right. You got this like mirror yeah. and like escape room. This is like becoming a magic. This, this is, is like wizards. Of... This is way better than the Discovery Channel. Nothing is the Discovery Channel. I think we got the cover now. Yeah. All right.